Good morning. Rogni College of Engineering and Technology, aggregated with A plus grade by NAC, Department of Civil Engineering, CE 3402, Strength of Materials, Regulation 2021. A. Anand, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering. So here we are going to see the topic, Mechanics Method. The procedure of finding slope and deflections for a simply supported beam with an eccentric point load is a very lubricous. There is a convenient method for determining the deflection of the beam subjected to point loads. This method was devised by Mr. M. H. McAllis and is known as McAllis method. This method is mainly consists in a special manner in which the bending moment at any section is expressed and in the manner in which the integrations are carried out. Deflection of a simply supported load with an eccentric point load. A simply supported beam AB of length L carrying a point load W at a distance A from left support and at the distance B from right support is known as the reaction at A and B are given by R A is equal to W B by L and R B is equal to W A by L. The bending moment at any section between A and C at a distance x from A is given by Mx is equal to Ra into x is equal to Wb by L into x. So this is the diagram for the reactions you yeah, find by using McCallie's methods. Mx is equal to Ra into x is minus W into x or A is equal to Wb by L into x minus W into x minus C. The above equation of bending moment hold good for all values of x between x is equal to a and x is equal to b so here the bending moment for one section of the beam can be expressed in a single equation written as mx is equal to wb by l into x minus w into x minus a this is equation number one and equation number two is m is equal to a by d square y by dx square that is equation number two by substituting by the using these conditions we are getting the fourth equation ea dy by dx is equal to wb by l into x square divided by 2 plus c1 constant minus wo x minus a the square by 2 when we are getting the integrating the equation for once again we are getting ea into y that is deflection is equal to we are getting the conditions c2 and c1 that is equation 5 so for finding c2 and c1 we want to know the boundary conditions and the first one is at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 and second boundary condition is that x is equal to l y is equal to 0 since the deflection is 0 at a and d so here by using this boundary conditions you are getting the equation seventh equation a dy by dx is equal to wb by l into x square by 2 minus wb into l square minus b square by 6l into minus w x into x minus a the whole square divided by 2 that is the seventh equation so finally we are substituting the values of c1 and c2 in equations 5 we get eighth equation that is given us and equations 8 gives the deflection at any point in the beam to find the deflections yc under the load substitute in a equation and consider the equation up to dotted line hence we get ea yc is equal to wb divided by 2l into a square divided by 3 minus wb into l square minus b square into a divided by 6 here so finally we are getting the substituting this we are getting the final equation yc is equal to minus w a square into b square divided by 3 ei by l thank you